Ever wonder how a simple shot can secretly slow down your SQL server? Hey there, welcome back to another episode of SQL in 60 seconds. This is Pinal Dave. Today, we will explore how shorting large data sets can impact performance and lead to TempDB spills in SQL Server. Let's start with a simple query. We are working with cell sorter details table in the AdventureWorks database. A straightforward query, but the execution plan reveals a lot more happening under the hood. Take a look at the execution plan. You will notice a cluster index scan followed by a short operator. Here is where things get interesting. Shorting is a memory intensive operation and SQL Server assigns a memory grant for this. However, if the memory grant is insufficient, SQL Server spills the short operation to TempDB. In this case, the execution plan includes a warning, TempDB spill detected. SQL Server writes immediately data to TempDB because it ran out of memory while performing the short. This spill slows down the query due to the additional I.O. overhead. The warning shows that SQL Server wrote 460 pages to TempDB and read them back using about 10 megabyte of memory in TempDB with a spill level of 1 and 13 spilled threads. This represents extra I.O. which affects the performance. But here is an interesting observation. If you execute the same query multiple times, the behavior might not always remain consistent. For instance, depending on our system load or available memory, SQL Server may or may not spill to TempDB. I have already executed this query a few times and as you can see here, the details in the plan and warnings vary. This unpredictability highlights the importance of tuning your queries for consistent performance. Here are some quick tips to avoid or reduce TempDB spills during shorting operation. The very first one is to create indexes. Adding an index on line item column can help SQL Server retrieve shorted data more efficiently, reducing or eliminating the need for explicit sorting. The next one is filter data early. Use a where clause to reduce the data set size before shorting. The next one is to monitor memory grants. Check if your SQL Server configuration allows sufficient memories for queries. And the next one is a bit difficult but important and that is to optimize TempDB. Ensure TempDB has multiple data files and resides on fast storage like SSDs to handle spills more effectively. All right, that's it for today's episode of SQL in 60 seconds. If you find this helpful, hit the like button and subscribe for SQL Server tips and tricks. Until next time, keep optimizing your SQL Server. <laughs>